Hello everybody and welcome to Spiritual Findings. I'm Vera Lynn and today we're going to be doing a 2020 reading for my lovely Tauruses. Alright Taurus, so this reading is mainly to get some insight on what 2020 will bring or if you're currently watching it now, I'm going to have it displayed in different seasons so you'll be able to see along the line what season is going to bring you which and which kind of development growth stage you will be in during that time. I have different decks here. I have the Rider Waite as well as Angels, Fairies, Vintage Wisdom Oracle Card, and Animal Spirits. If you guys like card reviews or if you're trying to see what kind of deck you want to get for your own practice, I have some deck reviews as well as I have videos on how to read tarot, different things, spell practice as well. Alright, so we're already getting a lot. I feel in winter over here we have the Queen of Cups, so I feel like in the beginning of winter going into January we're going to be concentrating on our emotions making sure that how we display our emotions and you know that we're not wearing our heart on our sleeve it's more in an elegant way how a queen would rule her emotions her love okay we're also going to be getting together some maybe some shadow work because we're following up in spring we have the death card all right now some of you guys might unfortunately actually be experiencing somebody passing within your family but you know it's kind of more expected I feel maybe more of a grandparent or an aunt that may have been sick but I feel for a lot of you this is actually a positive card now how I see that it's the death of an old habit an old cycle we're going to be coming into something new riding that white horse into the future you can see his positions he's going to the right he's not looking to the back okay so that's springtime. A lot of shadow work comes spring. All right, and by summer, we're just living by our instincts because now we understand where we're coming from. You know, what it is that we want, why it is that, why it is the way that we feel and what triggers us and what we need to do to cope with those triggers, those bad habits, all right? We have the moon card. Okay, maybe I highly suggest you guys to follow the moon cycle too. Have a little journal, see how you feel during the certain moon phases, the new moon, the whole, the full moon, you know, are you more tired during the new moon? Are you more passionate? Maybe even going as far as a little aggressive during the full moon? You know, write that stuff down. Maybe have some rituals or some spell work or maybe just kind of plan your, your, your month around the moon cycles, okay? Don't get yourself all hot and heavy when it's, you know, the moon cycle, you, when it's a full moon, really try to avoid conflict during the full moon okay that will help you arguments with your boss maybe you know who you're dating uh, just avoid arguments during that time you're really going with your instinct you could see the presence of the dog in the moon card so yeah you're really going with your instincts staying a little bit wild uh, for some of you guys, my lovely Tauruses, who might be single, perhaps meeting somebody, the Death card does represent Scorpios and the Moon card represents Pisces, as well as it has a hint of Cancers up in there too as well. So you might be meeting somebody along that line, or maybe you just have to bounce ideas off of your, you know, mother or friend that's a Scorpio or a Pisces or Cancer too. They're great people to get advice off of. Okay, so for for fall okay going into September when it's still kind of summer I feel like you're going to be taking some late vacations um, you're going to be celebrating probably around Labor Day or um, fall festivals I see that with the sunflowers in the background <coughs> Excuse me. I do see you kind of brightening up your life around that because we're going from the moon to the sun, okay? From summer to fall, okay? Around that time because this is the order that they popped up in. So I do feel like promotions, um, maybe a pay raise, finding that job, graduating around this time because you're going to be going back into, I feel like, a little bit of a hustle and bustle come late fall, all right? You have... The Two of Pentacles, which shows me a lot of juggling, whether it's a career, kids, relationship, you know, 
maintaining self-care, whatever it is, Taurus, there's a lot of juggle there. I do feel it is more finances, more materialistic items, maybe finding a new house, a new residence, um, or just redecorating your house, trying to find inspiration out of stagnant areas of your place that just, you know, are now bored. You want to spice it up, bring some beauty behind it, and when you look at it, you want to be inspired of your passions, okay? All right, so I do feel winter. We're looking back on our emotions, understanding why why we do things the way that we do, which is where the shadow work comes into play. But when we conquer that, we're coming into our new self, okay? And in this new self, we're definitely listening to these instincts, okay? And with doing so, we're bringing in positive affirmations and really calling to it what we want. So therefore, the sun is just brightening up our life. That's where the happiness really comes into play. And I'm not saying that you're not going to be happy in the beginning of 2020. It's just going to be a lot of work towards and I know you don't really want to hear that too much, but this work is going to be so rewarding that in a manner that you've never seen before, whether it's losing weight, like finally sticking to that losing weight. Once you look at yourself in the mirror and you can tell that you've slid down, it almost becomes addicting, like a drug. Okay, so once we understand what it is that makes us tick, Okay, get past that, do that shadow work, move into our instincts, we're going to be happy, and because we're going to be happy and we're bringing in so much vibrant energies, we're going to be attracting a lot of stuff, okay, a lot of goals are going to be completed, you know, moving along with your career and even your love life too. Um, I do want to say that for the year of 2020, I don't want to say that love, your love life is not there, but it's not going to be something that you can put a label on because we're working on ourselves and i'm telling you guys once you start working on yourselves it's just it's like a crazy magnet people are like a magnet to you because they want to know what's your secret how are you so happy how do you do this <laughs> and i'm telling you you're going to be shocked um but stay focused on yourself okay don't get don't get distracted with spring and summer flings okay all right so let's do one from the vintage wisdom oracle like i said i do have a deck review if you guys are interested in reading tarot yourself check out my other videos give me a big thumbs up as well as subscribe i do a lot of live streams from time to time and you can get yourself a free reading you know, possibly. I do um, a lot of live streams on Facebook too. So join our community there. Power. We are bringing power into our lives for 2020, my lovely Taurus. And I think this is a different type of power. I think this is more controlled power because the past couple of years may not have been ideal what you wanted, but you know what? That we got a, we gained a lot of experience from it. Okay, so this newfound power, as you can see, she's looking up. She's got those gorgeous wings. She knows which direction she's going in. She seems more enlightened. She has a halo around her. And it looks like there's, there's the directions, as you can see. All right, so she's enlightened in all directions, which I feel like is really your goal this year, Taurus. Okay. 2020 is going to be lit, okay? You have a lot of strong cards here, Taurus. So a lot of strong things are going to be happening to you this year. And I just want to make sure that you're the one in control and you're not still being manipulated by a different force, a different person, a way of thinking, because you got to accept that this is a new you. You have the death card for a reason, okay? All right, I'm feeling one from the fairies because you guys are a fellow earth sign. I'm a Virgo, shout out. I actually have a um, Taurus moon too. Hey, don't be afraid to comment below. I'm very quick to, re to reply. I love replying to you guys. If you don't know your moon sign, type me your birthday below and I'll find it out for you. All right, do some research. You need to do more, you need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. All right. 
I think that might be something more if it's like signing contract, school, an area of work, because you don't want to find yourself in just one of those another BS jobs that you're like, oh, I'm going to test it out. And you just find yourself there for like two, three years, maybe a decade, whatever it is. Do some research. Do you want to be there? Is it worth your time? Are you approaching it appropriately? Okay, find it out. Let's do it right this time. Okay. Let's not fail 2020. All right, so I'm gonna find out your spirit animal. This is no another lovely deck that I have in the deck review if you guys wanna check that out. A lot of my subscribers and clients um, are really interested in reading tarot themselves and I'm always like, you know, have at it. But if the original tarot, the Rider Waite deck intimidates you, there's a lot of different cards that are great for beginners or just have a different vibe to them, a different feel. That's just maybe, you know, a little less scary than the, the original Rider Waite. All right, so let's find out my lovely Taurus, what we got going on for 2020. The Meerkat gets support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. All right, you're gonna need help this year. And I'm not sure, I, you know what? I kind of do feel that the help is more geared towards learning how to do all this self-help, okay? Go ahead, go get a class in yoga meditation don't be afraid to you know reach out to a holistic expo or whatever it is you know surround yourself with people who are inspired just like you because if you go back to that old stagnant circle of friends you're gonna just still have those tendencies to still just be one of them okay so make sure that the people that you are surrounded by support you Okay, maybe even inspired by you. Maybe you're the mentor in this situation. All right, we're gonna figure it out, Taurus, okay? This year is the year of learning. I feel like 2019, 2008 was a lot for you guys. 2019 was a lot of change up. Maybe some of you guys moved, changed relationships. Maybe some of you guys got married, had babies. A lot of change. But this year, we're going to learn how to deal with that change. And not only are we going to be empowered by it, but we're certainly not going to let it control our lives. All right? Taurus, I'm excited for this. Please comment below with anything that's going on with your guys' life. I'd love to hear where you're from. Just share a little bit about it. You know, maybe if we click, I'll end up giving you a free reading because, you know, I'm just a sucker for some really good subscribers that, you know, have a, have a story. You guys keep me going. Just to hear that I'm healing you, changing you, that I'm getting through to you. Whatever it is, just let me know. All right? You can contact me here on YouTube or you can find us at Spiritual Findings Tarot with a Gypsy Soul on Facebook. All right, guys, you can also email me below. You can find all that information in the description box, but I hope you guys have a blessed 2020.